Hello. Greetings from upstate New York. My name is Dee. I've been wanting to do this for some time. People have been asking me <laughs> continually um, about uh, blogging or, or uh, just getting the information out here about my classic little Ciro Scotty. It's a 19 foot, 1992 Dodge Dakota truck with a Ciro Scotty camper. Now I'm fully equipped, self-contained. I have a pro propane tank for the heater, refrigerator, two-way with electric, also hot water. I have a 4,000 watt generator, which I just recently added and I have absolutely really <laughs> no knowledge, so I'm, I'm, uh, I'm gonna be blogging about that or whatever it is later, getting some information from all the all the other full-time RVers, because that's what I am. Three years and a couple of months now. I am in a Walmart parking lot, as you can see. I have several places that I can uh, I can dock and get electricity and water, friends, driveways. I rotate here and there. Um, I like to travel. Uh, I sell at flea markets, a uh, leather product. So I'm on the road as much as I can be. I keep all my product in here and the queen sleeper that you see up top. It does sleep four, but <laughs> not right now. Okay, we're gonna bring you inside and give you a quick, quick tour. To my right is the wall that goes to the cab. I have it covered with, uh, right now this is a big table here, a little table, but uh, I have it covered with the Mylar material that I use, that sunscreen that they use for uh, hearing noises yeah really. <laughs> anyway sunscreen that they use for your windows keep the sun out keep your car cool so I have that all over the walls for insulation I have covers for the windows to help uh, help insulate as well heating and cooling I keep a backup diehard charger and a cooler full of fresh bottles of water there's a DVD player up there I took the carpet out painted the floor painted all the cabinets that woodwork that was originally there was it's just very dated and hard and very dark and dingy I think the white really made it look nice this is a full-size pullout I use that now as my main sleeper while the equipment is stored up in the sleeper to my right there's a fresh water tank I believe it's 20 gallons that's for fresh water underneath the couch here there's a two well sink and two burner stove, no oven. Uh, above the, the, uh, uh, the fan vent there is a microwave in that cabinet. I'm running on 12 volt right now. I keep seasons, uh, seasonings, excuse me, in the baskets. And there's food up in these cabinets above. Uh, that is my media center over in the corner there. I, use Wi-Fi when I'm in areas like this. Uh, I have data, of course, I use with my my service to watch uh, streaming and Netflix. Buy a lot of movies, though. I do buy a lot of DVDs. I watch a lot of DVDs. I take them out of their hard jewel cases, throw them in these uh, album books, and save a lot of space. And I've got several hundred movies at my disposal. Never bored. I'm a big cinema fan. There's that wall, as you can see, that we talking about earlier about the, uh, the, div the division between the cab and the cabin. This side of here I have fans. There's a 12 volt going there. These cabinets up on the top, the cupboards, wherever you want to call them, I use those for clothing on this side. Um, there's a refrigerator on the end with a toaster oven and broiler. I have baskets for storage, multitude of storage. Uh, some personal items in a beautiful box that my brother gave me. Can't let that go without being seen. It's probably too dark, but uh, and a little, a uh, little mini fireplace that blows out some heat. That was a gift from my mom, and some artwork from my daughter. Again, which looks very. I don't know why this is so dark here, but uh, something I could do about that. Let's see. Nope, that didn't work either. Sorry. <laughs> okay. We're going to show you the, uh, the lavatory. Now this here is a separate shower. 
but the shower runs off the tap on the back of the sink so it doesn't have its own plumbing it uses the sinks plumbing you see this little knob here and you just connect your, your hose for the shower. I do have a full stand-up shower. I use it. It currently has a lot of storage in it right now, but not a big deal. It's everything in there is, you know, it's either water, laundry, or, uh, or recyclable bags, and, or bottles and, and bags. Back window. I did say it's a 19 foot. It is small. This here is my uh, mini closet. Mirrors, I like the mirrors. A lot of people don't like the mirrors in the RVs. They take them out. I personally like them. They help give a little bit more depth, some movement, some more space. I use my closet as a closet. I have my status box here, which never quite works right. I guess everybody says that too. They say the same thing. The, you know, it's supposed to give you how full those the black tank is, your gray tank, your uh, fresh water tank, that type of thing but it doesn't really work well. I keep a track by, you know, when I dump, and it's just me, so it's easy to kind of a barometer. I go every 10 days to dump my tanks. Here's the ceiling vent over the shower. I'm not sure the gallon sizes for the black water and the gray water. Gray water, of course, is your cooking and your, your drinking water and your shower water, that kind of wastewater. Your other wastewater, which is toilet water and that kind of thing, that's your black water. That I don't again know the size of that that uh, either, but it's I think they're fairly large. I'm going to say they're definitely over 15 a piece. Um, I'm assuming. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong because I don't have a manual to my rig, and those are questions that I do have, and I would love to know if anybody does know. While uh, if you're viewing in the comments that I get back on this, I understand this unit is a classic. They didn't make a lot of them. Um, uh, they were sort of Dodge's answer to the Toyota Dolphin. So they look very much alike and are mistaken often for the Dolphin. But note, this is the Dodge Dakota Ciro Scotty. Um, everybody wants her. I'm asked all the time about, you know, will you sell her? She only has, currently I've put, I don't know what I put on her, uh, 9,000 miles, 8,000 miles in three years, give or take. So, you know, she's only got, again, about 35,000 miles on it love it to death it's my favorite place i would uh, would if i had known earlier i would be in an rv when i was younger i will, this is a lifestyle um i love living small living minimal you don't need a lot people think you need all kind you know you need you don't you don't need much of anything trust me i have pots i have pans underneath the cabinet there there's a lot of little things too that double have double duty Things that, you know, trays or that count as tabletops or baskets that, you know, I use for, uh, uh, you know, different dishes for different applications. Everything has to have a multi-purpose. My cooler is a little table. I much prefer the hard floor over the carpeting, even in the wintertime in the upstate New York area. I think I mentioned that is where I am. I do flea markets. I love it up here. Kind of a great re region for that. Anyway, I'm going to finish now. I'm going to uh, uh, probably do another video on uh, um, my electrical issues that I have. Uh, more boondocking questions. Really want to hear some feedback. Would love to hear what everyone thinks. Uh, all uh, comments you know, and, and suggestions are greatly appreciated. So... Um, this is her. This is the Scotty. I call her Betty. It's my hot water area. Electrical. We have unleaded gas, my propane, and fresh water and city line. She does have a side awning over here. Really not an awning. I guess it's like a window shade. Two-seater bucket. The cab needs a little bit of sand and then probably not just new paint. But it hasn't happened yet. It's not something in my forte. I do have a, a little escort. We're going to say goodbye to the escort while we're, because I'm kind of crazy, nomad, gypsy, half in the bag woman. So we're going to say goodbye. Thank you. Love to hear from you again. And I, I'm excited about my first upload to YouTube for uh, the full-time RVer, three years now. This is Dee. Thank you very much for watching.